we can get this podcast started. Uh, I walked down for my beer, came up with some pho. What? All right. And you want to get this podcast started? Yeah, dude. I'm just going to pour my pho in here. You're just going to casually eat pho while we record today? No, I'm not. I mean, I'm just going to, like, you know, pour it over my soup right now. And then, and, then, eat, and then eat it stone cold later in an hour? No, I can warm it up later. You know what? Actually, I'm just going to... You know what? I just realized I can leave this. No, 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 I'm just leaving it. You made a very good point there. I'm so leaving it. Yeah. Yeah, I can warm that up on the stove. Yeah, then warm the broth up and then pour mm-hmm, it in fresh. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Jeez, this savage was just gonna fucking <laughs> ruin his soup real quick. Uh, I'm hungry, dude. What's up? Let's record this podcast. I'm gonna ruin my soup. <laughs> Back with another episode. This is the Pod Boys Advanced Podcast, a weekly discussion where we go over the latest in gaming and throw in a little bit of whatever else we want to talk about. My name is Oscar. I'm joined as always by my co-host and best friend, Eric. What's, What's up, up Eric? Oh, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> Nothing, man. Just chilling, killing, chilling. Still playing chilling. with my die from last week. Nice. I, I'm obsessed with it. Oh, I just rolled an eleven. Nice. Up at you. I'm done, man, for the yeah? semester. I'm done with school for now. You're done with. Uh, I've escaped the Nihongo. I have escaped the grasp of Nihongo. Kurasu. Another brutal semester. Yeah, this one was more brutal than the last. Yeah, dude, you were yeah. like, you were like, fucking nose to the grindstone like, this semester. Yeah, it's like my my work. Like this, my note cards. You see this? I, I I can write in Japanese. Look at that. See, I like I can do things, bro. You know, there's like you know how many job postings there is right now for uh, like Japanese to English translators for video game shit right now. That's that's uh, uh, part of the part of the goal here, man. That's so you, so you, dope, you get man. you get into IT, you learn the tech side of it, and then you can you know. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. get the language in, and you find something that does well. So, maybe someday, man. Maybe someday that would be the dream working for a game company. So, but yeah, Some, man. someday maybe. Um, you got yourself a beverage today, sir? I do. I have. <laughs> I have a beverage. Oh, uh, what does that mean? Like. Like it looks intense, and uh, yeah, so I'll just show you. So it's called the Hydra, the Hydra, and it literally has this like silver uh, a Hydra f- on fucking it. intense ass silver, like reflective Hydra on it. Yep, breathing laser. It looks like a fucking Blue Eyes Ultimate like, Dragon, it honestly. literally does look like Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Look at it's that. It's fucking sick, It's honestly. a sick can, yeah. And uh, it's, um... It is a... Where is it from? Livingston Boot and Cow by, uh... Mor- Mortalis Brewing Company. Mortalis. This, is, this just sounds super like metal, dude. Sounds super brutal, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a sour ale, ale brewed with blackberries, black currant, and cherries. Oh, that sounds good as hell. Yeah. Fuck yeah. off. Yeah. It's called the Hydra. 
How about you, man? What you got today? I've got well, from the 21st Amendment Brewery, a free, a brew free or die blood orange IPA. And it's got fucking Abraham. Oh, Lincoln the ape, dude. Is, that's the blood crushing orange. The, blood yeah. orange. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is actually one of my favorite beers. Just, Abe Lincoln absolutely destroying a blood orange in his fucking fist. It's it's hilarious. That I'm I have had that before. You are really gonna enjoy it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Do you like the taste of like blood orange? I do. It's a blood orange IPA. Yes, so. it is really really good. Mm, You'll, you will see. I'm so, excited. All right. all right, let's get this fucking cam pop going, dog. Go. Mm. Good one. Cheers, sir. Cheers. Oh, wow. It's good, right? You this taste is, the blood orange in it, This huh? is really good, yeah. That's definitely my favorite beer from that uh, brewing uh, brewery. I fuck with this heavy. This <clears throat> is really good. Super yeah. orange, super citrusy IPA. They have they have that one. They have another one called the uh, Heller High Watermelon. Actually Ooh. has a watermelon taste. It was next to it. And I was like, mm, 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 chose the mm. better one. In my and opinion. I grabbed the blood orange one because I was like, I don't trust it to actually have watermelon flavor because they never usually do. I don't know why watermelon is hard to nail in beer. Mm-hmm. What? Got a fly in there, dude? <laughs> no, it was a mosquito. <laughs> oh, shit. I think I got the fucker. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Yeah, but pretty good. So the watermelon one actually tastes like watermelon, huh? Yeah, it, it does. How's the fucking hydra though? I was uh letting you speak your speeches because <laughs> this is fucking delicious. God, I fucking knew it. It sounds so good. Oh, that's so good. Tastes like fruit punch mm-hmm. in a way, mm-hmm. but like. I can taste the berries. Yeah, like berry punch is what it tastes like. Mm. But it's got like... what it sounds like. It's got like a good... Sometimes uh, it's not like too sour to be sour, and it's not like too thick for a sour. You know what Mm. I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's like that nice balance of like light, but also like sweet. That's pretty good. Nice. This hype is pretty good. Sounds good. I need to check that down. That's a cool ass... That's a cool ass looking can. Mm Mm-hmm. But yeah, man, Mr. Done with School, you've been playing some games or what? Yes, I have been actually. I have been playing Pokemon. I finally beat the Elite Four. Got my ass whooped by Cynthia once. Damn, must be nice to have time. And uh, I actually played like well, I got really ahead, but then I played, like, maybe, like, an hour after, like, my classes every other day or something like that. So, it didn't take me too long to get to work, like, to the point where I got to Elite Four. But now I'm doing the, now I have to catch the legendaries to do get the um, the national Pokedex. Oh, here, there's that mosquito again. No, I thought I felt like my death shake, and I was like, is there an earthquake popping off? I think I'm just tripping. Maybe. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I've been playing that, so that's been pretty fun. I don't really have anything negative to say about this game, dude. I don't know. I feel like people be tripping, but... Anyways. Are people tripping? I don't even look at... I've heard people are tripping, like, Pokemon like game stands are tripping. They, I mean, they always are though. What are yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I've also been. Uh, I started Death Loop. Oh, nice! I have yeah. not. I have not. How I is? How, how's the beginning? How you think? What do you think? Initial thoughts hit me. So far, I feel like I'm not in it far enough to where i can form a solid opinion the gameplay is not bad like okay. like the 
like fighting and like against the enemies and like the way you can like sneak and stuff it's actually kind of cool and some of the weapons you pick up are pretty cool like there's a one weapon that's it's basically just like a nail gun like a modified nail gun and uh yeah it's, it's like a silence uh weapon so you can shoot people in the face with nails <laughs> brutal yeah so I, it's pretty so far it's pretty good my favorite part so far about it is the dialogue like the dialogue between uh i forgot what his name uh is the main character uh but yeah, the dialogue between him and the rival assassin is actually pretty, it's pretty good. Um, I don't know. It's not, I will, uh, the only thing I'll say is not, it's not as open world as I thought. And okay. that's, the, that's the number one thing that bothers me. All right. That, that it's, it's kind of like the world is kind of like in sections. Is it like loading screens and shit, or you have to like travel between areas, like in yeah like screens that like transition no, screens? No, no. So thing? basically, you just it doesn't take long because PS Five and yeah, time obviously. Like, but basically, every time you hop, you start a like you start a mission, like you start a loop. That's what they call it. Every time you start a loop, you are put you like the whole area loads, mm. and then you start from there. And then maybe it's because I think I'm playing it on the normal uh, difficulty. So when you die, you actually have two like rewinds kind of a deal where it like rewinds you to like gives you two. It rewinds you to like a certain point before like you got into where you were. Um, it's kind of trippy, mm -hmm. but it's kind of cool. And uh after you die the two times, then you, you're done. You're, you're done. You're done. Though. Sekiro you, you lose, style. You lose all, yeah, and you lose all your weapons. Oh yeah. damn! And you have to start over from where you like, from a from, from, from where a you save, start, from where you no, started the loop or whatever. Well, well, you started that like loop mission, <clears throat> so not from like the very beginning of the game. Mm, okay yeah which is what i thought it was gonna be and i was like oh man that might be intense but it's not it's there's a lot of narrative stuff going on so right. uh so yeah so far so i played that and i also started tales of arise oh okay you went for it i did i i played a little bit i played about an hour in oh okay so, so not a whole lot a little a lot, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of dialogue a lot of dialogue, dialogue. and yeah. it got to the point where like at one point during the beginning, I was like, dude, it feels like I'm just watching an anime right now because I am not playing this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the RPG uh, beginning. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So it's been, it's kind of setting itself up. So, uh, still, still don't know how I feel about it because I haven't played enough into it. So, yeah, dude, that's what I've been playing. Nice. You got, you got, got into a lot. Yeah, for once, yeah. Nice. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I, we switched Freaky Friday. Uh, we switched over because I barely had time to play anything. I, I haven't even had time to like uh, get some Pokemon in because of changes at work. I usually play on my lunch hour, but I don't have one of those anymore. So wait, what? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's a thirty-minute break now. Sounds illegal. No, it's not illegal. It's just no. I know, I know, but it sounds illegal. No, it like... sounds illegal. It, it, it feels <laughs> illegal. I feel like I got a um, like. Oh, like it's, if you yeah. don't bring a lunch, how do you have time to get? It's anyway. It's brutal. Cutting that out. I. No, I'm leaving. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, <clears throat> yeah. So I've gotten a tiny bit of pokemon in here and there um i have three badges what's up <laughs> so Let's i got go. I got my third badge uh, i still don't have the third evolution i'm still in my 20s so i'm working my way through there you know steadily yeah you're getting there slowly but steady yeah. and what i did try out today that was cool but also like slightly disappointed I, I mean i guess i set myself up for disappointment 
Uh, I checked out that uh, Matrix Unreal Engine 5 tech demo. And how was that? It's dope. Like, <clears throat> it, you, you get this cool, like, Keanu Reeves intro where he's like walking through different scenes of of, 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 the, of the old ma- of the original matrix movie and stuff like that mm-hmm. like while well, going on some philosophical ass spiel and then you get put in like uh then they switch over to like um like the game view and like it looks like it's i guess like it's an unreal engine 5 showcase thing with mm-hmm. like showing off the new like uh human ai character models and all this type of shit so it looks fucking insane and then uh, they put you in a, in a car while Trinity's driving and you're this new character. And it's just kind of like quick time event type of like gun shooting. Mm-hmm. You're just like shooting agents <laughs> off of the road, like blowing their cars up. And like agents will try and like jump on your car and you shoot the agent like in the air type of thing. Mm-hmm. And you just do that until like you get to like another cinematic, like more driving, more shooting cinematics. And then... Then you get dumped into the open world, but it's literally just a, like a tech demo. So like you can like go into like no clip mode and like fly around and like see everything from like a bird's eye view and then like ah, jump back down. And uh, all you do is like sprint around and walk around the world, which it looks beautiful and it's fucking intense. Like games are like lo-fi surf for it in the discord. Like it's scary how good these games can look nowadays, but um yeah, there's, there's no like combat or anything like that. You just literally walk around. There's no interaction with almost anything. All right. Well, I'm downloading it right now to you know get get an opinion for myself and see because this sounds cool. cool. No, it's cool. It's just like I I I was expecting like like some actual gameplay. Yeah, not a game. Well, yeah, I guess like like a little tiny slice of like a game or something like a little like tiny chunk to play like a demo. I thought it was a. a mm-hmm. I saw a demo and ran with that, but I, uh, you, but it's a tech demo, and I didn't take that into account, which I should have. It's my bad. Ah, uh, so it's yeah, it's it's more of like showing, like some, yeah, showing yeah. off some visual effects and kind of thing, ba- rather uh, than one hundred percent that yes, because before okay. you before you get like jump, dropped into the open world, it like takes you through, through like this like detailed like like zoom ins of like different parts of the city, and it highlights like the different like new effects and type of graphic power things that they're using and type of things like that. So yeah, it's like a showcase basically. That's crazy. It's crazy that these next gen consoles can do that thing. Like I, I feel like they don't get the credit they deserve. No. You know what don't. I mean? Well both, both both consoles, both Xbox and PS5. Like I because everyone's always oh they're still under power when they drop or whatever. But yeah. Whatever. Mm, whatever it's still a 500 hundred dollar box that does that type of shit you know what i mean mm-hmm. but i agree um yeah that's pretty much uh all i've had time for this week I, uh, i'm like i wish i was an octopus or i wish i was fucking naruto and i could just shadow clone and just oh don't we all man don't be we fucking all. everywhere at once man because i know damn it man it's been wild why companies hire people yeah <laughs> yeah but yeah man we can start moving into some of these topic of brunies topic of starting with uh one that i figured you would have uh chimed in on uh, oh beforehand. I, yes i forgot i did forget about that i actually did play this so you can go ahead and talk about it so a trailer came out uh, earlier this week for uh destiny 2 uh celebrating bungie's 30th anniversary uh doing a bunch of new events a bunch of new armor pieces a bunch of new activities in destiny but uh the cool part is uh they're adding a bunch of uh halo inspired weapons yeah they're already it's already out it's already in the game yeah yeah it's already out this Check. this i i purchased it because oh it costs money yeah it does cost money oh it costs money mm-hmm. is that what was is that what we're talking about here I didn't know it could. No, I didn't know it cost money. Like, oh, you didn't? Oh, no, this is legit me finding out. Like, I, I don't know. I know nothing about I've just seen, I just saw the trailer and thought it was, yeah, sick. it's it's a whole ass like they event. Bring, I saw they're like bringing back Crota too or something. So it's a $30 event, but the whole Crota thing, all that, that's that's free. Oh, okay. So the $30 that you pay for are for, um, 
the extra stuff like the getting the dungeon the galley the dares of eternity or the dares of eternity that whole event uh actually the event is free to an extent uh so you can do the dares of eternity but if you don't have like the upgrade you can't do certain things like Mm -hmm. you can't do like the uh like the master level one okay and all that yeah so yeah i did pick it up because i'm a destiny stan and yeah dude it's all I have to say is, is it worth it? Do I cop it and hop it's, on? It's the most it's the it's different. It's so different that it's pretty good. Like Zer has a space horse. First what, of all. Zer what Zer is involved? Zer So the whole premise of this is that the nine have told Zer that he has to bring the guardians to this place. Mm-hmm. Right, and when they're there, there's this magical horse okay. that speaks okay. to Zer, and this magical intergalactic horse who has infinite nays. By the way, like when he nays, it says infinite nay. What the fuck? <laughs> this horse basically is demanding things of you through Zer. And so we're dancing like monkeys for this fucking horse. Yes, essentially. Okay. And it's fucking hilarious because this dares of the uh, um, of eternity bullshit. It's a fucking game show. So you have the Zer di- like the Zer voice actor doing game show dialogue, like press the button and see uh, see who you fight next, and then there's like this middle part of the event where you go and he's like the horse says that it's time to go through what he calls this wacky obstacle course and like i don't know the dialogue is just different for destiny and it's actually really funny (laughs) and there's a lot of halo stuff going on in there i i just got the the magnum they have the br and it's really cool, dude. It's, how's, how it's the actually B, how, a lot of how fun. does the BR feel in Destiny? Not as overpowered as one would want it to be. Because you can actually aim down the sights in, in Destiny with it, right? Well, you can always do that in um in Halo. Well, kind of, but it like kicks you out if you get like hit and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean in, in the later Halos, like they I think one of the 343 ones, they took that away. So, like, stay in the scope. And they brought it back for this one, so... Yeah, they brought it back for the new one, which was the correct choice. But, um... Halo Infinite! Exactly. So, I actually was in the middle of playing Halo Infinite. We played a bit of Halo. Oh, we did, we did. Yeah, we did. We did did play a bit of Halo. Yeah, we've been playing Halo. So, I did... I was... When I hopped onto Destiny, it was because my brother was like, oh, the event is on... And I was like, what? I've been playing Halo this whole time. And so I hopped on. Yeah, it's a play with friends. So it was. It's been fun so far. I got, like I said, I got the Magnum. It's fucking feels great. Nice. The battle rifle feels fun. It's got. They've made perks that can make. They basically make it into the like Halo style battle rifle. You don't have to aim down sights with this thing. Oh, nice! Its intrinsic perk is that it gives it like auto, like automatic hip fire grip so like you you can shoot it from the hip like all the whole time nice so it's pretty fun dude i'm having fun with it so far uh i might do the dungeon this weekend trying to get the homies already have galley damn they changed galley a little bit so you don't have to have galley to have wolf pack rounds if your homies are standing next to you and you have a rocket say you have galley and i don't and but I have a regular rocket. My rockets get like smaller wolf pack rounds just for being around you. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So you, one galley can essentially give a whole team more DPS. Yeah. It's it's kind of crazy. Well, I'm gonna stop talking about this because I could talk about it all day. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, there you go. Check out the, the the event if you play Destiny, y'all. Uh, and then what I teased in the intro, Eric. Uh, I remember abandoned. 
that game that was supposedly Kojima, but not Kojima, and yeah. then was Silent Hill, but then wasn't Silent Hill. Yeah, the Blue Box Game Studios fiasco that disappeared off the face of the earth like we all expected it to. Well, it popped up again. Uh, it Apparently, it silently appeared uh, in an update on the PlayStation blog saying that we are excited to announce uh, that the prologue chapter releases Q1 2022. A specific date will be announced shortly. Stay tuned. So what is going on? I don't know, but PlayStation is still talking about it as if it's like not the biggest fucking scandal in the it feels like a like a rug pull in the crypto world, but with a fucking video game, bro. This is exactly (laughs) what it feels like. like. Fucking rug pull of a game. I hate it. It's coming, guys. It's gonna it's gonna go big. It's gonna good, it's gonna be great. Uh, but yeah, man, it, it, you ready for it? You down for abandon? I've abandoned all hope in this. Like, what is this? I don't know what to think of this. I thought we were done with this. No, sir. We have we are we are just getting started apparently because the prologue is coming sometime within the next. Three months. Quarter one, 2022. Mm-hmm. But yeah, man, we can move on from that to. Oh, that was weird. I sent you my notifications on Twitter for some reason. I saw. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and we can move on to. Um, there's rumors, Eric, a Bruin, of a new Splinter Cell game finally. What? Tom Henderson on Twitter says Ubisoft's Splinter Cell game that is in early development is currently scoped as a, you guessed it, open world of sorts. A more stealthy version of Assassin's Creed, which is like... What? Hang on. What? (sighs) Yeah, because... We've t- I've talked about this, how the last few Assassin's Creed, because I've played a couple of them, they're not, they don't, you don't even, like, insta-kill from stealth for most of the time. Like, they took that, like, whole, like, I don't even know why they still call it Assassin's Creed, because, like, stealth is shit in it, for some reason. So, like, why, it, it's crazy to me that, like, a more stealthy version of a sa- a more stealthy version of the Assassin game! <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I do know what you're saying. <laughs> How much more stuff can you get? <laughs> wow. Ross says similar to how Halo Infinite has done its open world, but what, what does that ha- mean? Well, I don't. Well, the campaign came out this a couple days ago. We just haven't hopped. I, oh, I, really? Yeah, I don't know if uh, I think uh, I need to look into it because I remember we had talked about the fact that there wasn't going to be like. Um, Co op campaign right co op at launch, mm-hmm. so I need to look into that. But if there's co op, then we should probably get on that soon. Hell yeah, dude! Hell yeah, brother! <laughs> brother, <laughs> look here, brother! <laughs> you look here, brother! <laughs> we about to play some Halo, brother! <laughs> brother, but yeah, man. And then uh, moving on to the last topic that we have here, it's kind of a big one, so I saved it here uh, towards the end. So Bloomberg put out an article earlier this week stating that uh, PlayStation is planning its own subscription service codenamed Spartacus. I am Spartacus. (laughs) This will be uh, apparently a three-tier service with one of them allowing access to a library of classic PS1, PS2, PS3, and even PSP games. Okay. More, more details on Project Spartacus. Available on PS4 and PS5, expected this spring, will merge PS Plus and PS Now. Uh, tier 1 is, uh, I guess, just the basic PS Plus benefits. Tier 2 gives you access to PS4 and select PS5 games. And Tier 3 uh, gives you an access to a classic library. Sony is apparently also investing more heavily into cloud gaming. So looks like uh, this is uh, Sony's finally uh, pulling the trigger on an answer to Game Pass. I mean, 
if it's not breaking, oh, excuse me, if it's not breaking the bank, I would be okay. You would be amenable. You would be maybe amen- you would be amenable to these terms, maybe. If it's competitive with the Game Pass, then the the only question is if. My question is, if you have, they are moving towards getting PlayStation games on PC. Mm. So I I wonder Mm. if if you have this like bigger, like if they'll have like a tier where it's like, oh, you can play these games on your PC as well. You know, Mm. maybe in the future, in the future, like, yeah, not, yeah, if, if people buy it, you know, but. Not right away, of course, but I'm just like trying to like look further past that, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like I'm trying to see like what this is going to because as a consumer here, I'm trying to think of like, how is this going to affect me? Yeah. Is that going to raise my PlayStation like plus subscription? Is it going to change like what I can do? Is it going to be worth? Is it just like extra games? Do I just get PS now? are they removing some features of ps plus you know what i mean yeah so i don't know it's yet to be seen to what happens but yeah i don't know what do you think man um so i'm along the same lines as you uh i think if I, i'd be willing to try it out if it, if it doesn't break the bank like uh well even if it does a bit because i like i I feel like I I want to dive in head first and go for that high tier to get the classic library. Well, the thing is, they'd have to an- announce the classic library first for me to yeah yeah because I don't want to like just opt what in if, blindly if, and then like have it be some bullshit ass shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. What if got them battle of souls on there? Uh, see, no, I don't think so because that's that would be a Bandai Namco la- licensed game at this point, and like it would be. a like it, it, it would probably just be straight up like Sony, like first party shit at first, you know what I mean? But like, they get like cool shit on there. They get like Jack and Daxter on there, you know what I mean? I like, miss that game, and I would replay that as like an affluent gamer now because I feel like thinking back, I feel like I would probably breeze through it. Hey, um, I'm we're we're dumb. Why? This episode is only twenty. 24- six minutes long so well 30 minutes long so far oh really yeah because um i couldn't i was scrounging for topics but something happened this week that we totally missed and slash forgot about and i just linked it to it oh my god (laughs) you're leaving this shit in here right yeah, a, a no, yeah. no, I'm leaving all of this in here. This is oh happening in real time. How could we? This is how busy we've been, everybody. This is how busy and wrapped up in, in crap we've been, man. The Game Awards happened, y'all. <laughs> There's a Suicide Squad gameplay trailer. Sonic Frontiers, First Look, Matrix Awakens, the Halo TV show, Star Wars Eclipse. A new Wonder Woman game? That's just in the fucking headline. So, uh... <laughs> we, looks like we missed out on some shit, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> looks like we did, dude. What the hell? Well, I guess uh, Pod Boys gets live, live reactions to all this shit now, I guess. So, it looks like there was a, a new Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League trailer. We're gonna pop that on real, real quick-like. Yeah, I'm already watching it. Yo. Oh, there's actual gameplay in this. Yeah, dude. This looks really good. This looks fucking... T- what the f- What? Fuck? This game looks so good. This, this looks pretty next gen, right? Yeah, it looks hella next gen. I'll take it, dude. This looks good. We talked about it um, when, when uh, the last couple story trailers came out and... Uh, we were down with the premise of it too, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, the mm-hmm. story sounds dope. So now seeing that the gameplay is actually pretty good. I don't know, the third person shooting seems a little jank, but everything else looks fucking crazy. I'm 
I'm pretty down for this, dude. No, yeah, I, I agree. This looks good. There's any Star Wars game? Mm, not right now. Yeah, Star Wars Eclipse. Let's pop that on real it's quick. It's a cinematic trailer. Oh, uh, God damn it. Are we going to watch it anyways? Yes. About 23 seconds. If it's just this fucking drumming shit the whole time, bro. No, it's not. It's it's. There's some other stuff going on. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> but this doesn't tell, like, tell us anything. I feel like games that do this end up looking like shit. What do you mean? Like showing off a really intense cinematic trailer at the, at the first get-go? Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like with the... With the... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Suicide Squad. I feel like I've been seeing the same animations. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But with this, it's like these like super intense like cinematic sequences, and now it's like when we actually see it, it's gonna be like, oh well, this looks like shit. I don't know. Um, what's his face? Oh, did you see who's making this? I did not. Detroit become human developer Quantic Dream. So, yeah, I don't know about that. Set in the High Republic, Star Wars Eclipse will feature multiple playable characters and a branching out story. This one's still in development, so it might be a while until it's out. So it's like a Kotar type of shit, like RPG with like branching paths, I guess. I guess so. That's going to be interesting. Looks like we got a Wonder Woman game next. Uh, skip to 20 seconds. Dude, to a fucking Keely. Get out of my face. Uh, we might be able to skip this. It's a fucking, essentially a JPEG. Are you fucking, yeah, it's a JPEG. It's a JPEG with talking over it. Alan Wake 2, for some reason, is making me watch it on YouTube. And can't, I mean, is it making you do the same thing? Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. There's a Dragon Ball Fighters Ultra. Are you? Did you skip Alan Wake 2? Sorry. <laughs> no, I couldn't find it. Uh, I'm uh, going to keep this bookmark. It's also basically a fucking JPEG. Okay. More for spoken. Oh, more for spoken. Oh, it's got a release date now, May twenty fourth. Okay, still a ways off, but all right. <clears throat> Ooh, cursing, fucking cussing, in, in the first thirty seconds of the trailer, I like yeah. it. Edgy, so edgy. I will say one thing about this game. Um, are we gonna go through these and then talk about them, or are you gonna cut through them? No, 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 this is this, this is it. This is us talking about it. So go okay. ahead. So we're I will doing, say we're, we're doing this live. This is a live reaction podcast. I'm just gonna cut really, out dead this space while, we, while, we, while we, we watch. Um, anyways, um the uh the landscapes in this game look really cool. Also, like the particle effects on the explosions of her magic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Looks pretty cool. Yeah. It's flashy. It is flashy. Chainsaw right. Massacre. Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. Ooh, from the creators of the Friday the 13th game. So it's going to be one of those uh, asymmetric multiplayer probably. It's also a cinematic trailer with nothing here. God fucking So damn might it. as well just be a title. Keely. Oh, a Hellblade 2. Eric, that was that was announced when the Xbox first came out. Oh, I know, but like more information. Oh, this is actually it's a gameplay like, it's reveal. A gameplay reveal. And it's That's six, what I'm saying. And it's six minutes long. <clears throat> I mean, I'm gonna skip a little bit here. Oh yeah, let's skip, let's skip through. I'm gonna watch that for myself later, though. Yeah, same. I still need to finish that game. It's pretty short, bro. I'm pretty it's, close to finishing yeah, it. Put, I think just push through it. It's dope. <clears throat> Uh, I'm 220 <clears throat> in the 220s is fucking creepy. 
Ugh. Like a giant crawling on uh What is this attack on Titan? Right? It's just got me all tense. Yeah, are you still watching the giant yeah. stuff? What the fuck? The fuck? This is gameplay too, I think. I mean Senuas is like in general, like super cinematic. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. This fucking giant is terrifying. Yeah, it is. I was like, I'll just skip through this. And then I got roped in. I was yeah, like, oh, I no, know. I'm me invested. too. <laughs> <clears throat> Bro. This shit looks Oh, intense. he's like straight attack on tightening. <clears throat> Wait, what? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. That shit looks intense. That shit got me like all like, ugh. You yeah, know? I was over here like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just skip through here, and then all of a sudden I was like, wait a minute, I can't. <laughs> Next, we got the Halo TV show. I mean, I guess. Miss Chief. I kind of skipped through it. I didn't watch the whole thing. It's only a minute long. I watched the whole thing. I mean, I guess I'll watch it just out of morbid curiosity. Yeah. All right, let's Elden Ring. Ooh, we got another Elden Ring trailer. This one we can probably skip through because I know I want it, so I don't want to like see too much of it. And you, like, you don't want to uh, death loop it. I don't want to death loop it. Yeah, so I'm just gonna skip through it. Ooh, especially uh, it's a fucking story trailer. No, <clears throat> thank you. I will see this for myself later. <laughs> All right, I agree. I will say though that. Okay, hold up. The character design here, we got to appreciate. Skip through about like 225. Two. This character here, whatever it is. Oh, sh- oh shit. Right? It's like giant boss you're fighting, you mean? Well, not just that. Oh, like, the, oh you mean the character? Uh, yeah. With the removable arm thing? Yeah. That was, that was dope. Oh. But. No, I just kept watching. Oh, you're watching the, the rest of it? No, I, I did for a sec, but I kept... Yeah, I mean, it looks good, man. I'm excited for that shit. Yeah, Elden Ring looks pretty cool. Mm, then we got Sonic Frontiers. Actually, I'm excited to check this one out. I hope it's, I hope it's not just a fucking cinematic. First ever open zone inspired game in the franchise. First seized in May. Sonic Team's new game is expected out in late 2022 for Switch, PS4, PS5, PC, Xbox One, and Series X. Coming on everything. Okay, well, I guess it's more than, it's a little bit more than just what it, we got last time. Remember that? Yeah, it was literally just that first <laughs> scene of him running through the forest. Mm-hmm. Wasn't it just his feet? Yeah. Oh God! It's here. I can already hear the people saying it's Breath of the Sonic. Yeah, I was literally gonna say that now because it looks exactly like it. Breath of the Sonic, baby, let's go! <laughs> oh, I'm actually so down. No, <laughs> I'm such a fucking Sonic stand. I hate myself. <laughs> They're so bad. All the TV <clears throat> games are so bad. The shadow so of the Sonic as well if you keep down. watching the video. I am so down. Uh, give it all to me. And then let, next we got Slitterhead reveal trailer. There was a spider with a horrifying human face shown during the Game Awards. Oh, no. Oh, do I want to watch this? We're watching it together. Yep, we're watching it together. Okay, all right. Fuck. We're going to have nightmares. As a team here. Bokeh Game Studio. Director Keiichi Otoyama. Oh no, the siren. Don't fall for it. Oh my god. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Oh god. Oh my god. This is looks terrifying. But also kind of cool. Huh? This took a turn. I got all action all of a sudden. This music, though. I'm down for the music. Yeah. The fuck? All right. 
Lord of the Rings what Gollum. The hell. Oh yeah, this was a, this was like announced uh, somewhere. I think at the maybe at the at the first Xbox like showcase or something like that for the Series X. Uh, stealth action game from Data Lake Entertainment and Nacon, Lord of the Rings Gollum. It's slated for release in 2022. The game finalist players enter Lord of the Rings Google is both Gollum and Smeagol. So I guess you're gonna like play like flashback segments in the past as Smeagol. The only way I can see this working is like some kind of like odd world. It's supposed to be a stealth. Is, 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 I wonder if there's gameplay. I'm just watching the whole thing because I'm interested because I'm a Lord of the Rings dumbass who likes. Yeah, Lord I of just Rings. I just finished it. Yeah. Uh, hey man, we all like Lord of the Rings here. Stealth action game. Hmm. I don't know, right? Well, we got we got another look at Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. We were interested in that one. It's the fantasy Borderlands. Mm-hmm. So I, I think it's just more like kind of information and gameplay, which we already. I don't want to death loop this one either. Quick adventure. Oh yeah, I think it's talking about different classes and shit. I, I can wait on that. Yeah, same. Oh my god, it looks fun though. It does. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> Among Us, I'm skipping that. Star Trek, a Star Trek game? Has there a been other Star Trek third games? Third person choice driven game set in a Star Trek universe. So, okay. In 2022 from Dramatic Labs, a studio made up of the Telltale. Oh, okay. So it's like a, yeah, it's like a Telltale type of game. So it's like all narrative and like uh, choice yeah. based. Like yeah. If you're into Star Trek, you're into Star Trek. Yeah, no thanks. Arc Raiders. This from is from Dark Dice. Studios, a studio funded by former, no, by former, former Dice, Dice and Battlefield okay. developers. Arc Raiders, the player versus environment shooter, PVE, what? coming in 2022. Oh, okay. Interesting. It's mm-hmm. a third person shooter. Yeah. You like shoot a lot of things like coming out of the air and stuff, though. It's weird. Did you skip through it? Yeah. You fight like a giant mechanical spider at some point. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know either. Mm, probably not for me. I feel like, honestly, it looks like Battlefield Fortnite. Yeah, I don't know. New creator safe music. Okay, I don't need that. Matrix Resur- Resurrections plus Awaken. Okay, so this is what I talked about earlier is the where they revealed the whole like little tech demo thing, I think. Yeah. Rumbleverse. Man, they talk, there's a lot of shit in here, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you might have to cut some out, dude. Yeah. Uh, Rumbleverse. We care about Rumbleverse. A, col- mm-hmm. a colorful pro wrestling battle royale. I, I don't really. Okay. No, I get no. Telltale, we don't need to talk about that. Tunic, I want to talk about Tunic, though. Super Q Zelda-like Tunic will be released March 16th. Damn, that's still so far, and this game has been in development for so long. I don't want to take to make a fucking Fox Zelda clone, bro. <laughs> a while, apparently. Oh, I'm skipping through it, but it looks so good. I need this fucking game. It does look Bro. pretty cool. It's like super fucking colorful. Yeah. I dig it. Homeworld 3, first gameplay look. Blackbird Interactive revealed the first look at gameplay details of Homeworld 3 during the Game Awards. A follow-up to Homeworld and Homeworld 2. I don't know what this is. Have you ever heard of Homeworld? No. Okay. All right. Looks like... Space. Space. The <laughs> final frontier. Uh, Crossfire. Supposed to be a gameplay first? Where's the gameplay? Where was the gameplay? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Crossfire X launch date reveal releases February 10th. Looks like it's one of the Xbox games that we've been waiting for for a while. Uh, which one is it? Oh, uh, it's the one with. Which... Wait, no, this is not the one. 
Remember there was that one that had like some girl in it and some guy falling out of a plane and all this like. Mm, yeah, no, this looks just looks like a war, war. Type of okay. future future war shooter. Nightingale. Nightingale. What is Nightingale? Uh, from Improbable a survival game. studio, and now called Inflection Games, comes Nightingale, a survival game set in a fantasy Victorian oh. era. Again, with the scary monsters with monstrous human faces in the shared world, Nightingale launches an early access on Windows PC next year. All right, all right. Yeah, oh, uh, it looks terrifying. Okay. Uh, that looks scary. Oh, look, more giants. More giants. PUBG. No, thanks. More Cuphead. PUBG. Cuphead's getting new DLC. Dude, what the hell, Cuphead? The last delicious course revealed through a lovely little song performed live at the Game Awards, the DLC. Get it? Oh, nice. The song was called the DLC, the last, the delicious last course. Ah. Uh, it's been a while that they've been making that. And yeah, then, it has. Looks like they had a, uh, a trailer for the Sonic the Hedgehog 2. We don't need to watch that. I'll watch that on my own time since you fucking refused to watch the first one, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Thirsty Suitors, indie publisher Annapurna Games, will release Outer Loop Games' next title, Thirsty Suitors, and tackle, relation, and tackle relationships and family. Oh, okay, no thanks. And then the last one here, Dune, Spice Wars. Spice Wars. French studio Shiro Games announced Dune Spice Wars, a real-time strategy game with 4X elements, meaning explore, expand, exploit, and exterminate. Okay. Okay. There was no gameplay in there. All right. Well. All right. Well. We missed we the whole show. And we're, we're not even. The game awards. And we're already at an hour here. Well, about just about an hour, and uh, we didn't even talk about the actual awards, uh, which we apologize for. Do you want to do like a short video? Do you want to do a micro on that? Yeah, let's do a micro on that and talk about that because that's gonna. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I should probably talk about that. But yeah, we forgot yeah. about the Game Awards. We forgot. We're guilty. But there we go. We <laughs> at least covered all those announcements in real time for you there with you guys. That's pretty much going to do it for us here on the podcast. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for joining us. If you made it all the way to the end, you are a true goddamn gamer who keeps up with this shit because <laughs> we fell off this week and we really apologize. Life comes yep. at you fast, man. I'm trying to find a new job because my company got sold. Eric's been dealing with finals. It's been rough, but uh, thank you guys always so much for the support. Um, If you want to find us on the internet and uh, I don't know, I'm stressed. Talk to me and keep me sane at (laughs) Knife Life Osc, Knife Life OSC. Uh, If you want to find Eric on the internet. Uh, If you want to find me on the internet and talk stress relieving intergalactic courses, (laughs) uh, you can find me at Zergy Plays everywhere. If you find, want to find us together and get some Halo sessions in with us, like Let's go. did earlier this week, uh, you can find us at the Pod Boys Advance Twitter at Pod Boys Advance. Uh, make sure you join the Discord, submit a question to be featured in an episode. Uh, check out my other podcast, Eight Hour Chat. This uh, past week, I can't remember what we dived into, but it was probably funny. So go listen to that. Um, other than that, that's pretty much going to do it for us here on the podcast. My name is Oscar. And I'm Eric. And we have been the Pod Boys Advance. We will see you guys next time. Later. Later. Bye. Don't eat the apple pie.